Let us give thanks to the beneficent and merciful God, the Father of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. For he has covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us unto him, spared us, supported us, and brought us to this hour. Let us also ask him, the Lord our God, the Almighty, to guard us in all peace this holy day and all the days of our life. O Master, Lord God, the Almighty, the Father of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank you for every condition concerning every condition and in every condition. For you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us unto you, spared us, supported us, and brought us to this hour. Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of man, and kind to grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace with your fear. All envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel of wicked men, and the rising up of enemies hidden and manifest, take them away from us and from all your people and from this holy place that is yours but those things which are good and profitable do provide for us for it is you who have given us the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and upon all the power of the enemy. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, by the grace, compassion, and love of mankind, of your only begotten Son, our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ, through whom the glory, the honor, the dominion, and the adoration are due unto you, with him and the Holy Spirit, the life-giver, who is of one essence with you, now and at all times, and unto the ages of all ages. Amen. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the multitude of your compassions. Blot out my iniquity, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I am conscious of my iniquity, and my sin is at all times before me. Against you only have I sinned, and done evil before you, that you might be just in your sayings, and might overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and when since my mother conceived me. For behold, you have loved the truth, you have manifested to me the hidden and unrevealed things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with your high soap, and I shall be purified. You shall wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. You shall make me to hear gladness and joy, the humble bones shall rejoice. Turn away your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit in my inward parts. Do not cast me away from your face and do not remove your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a directing spirit. Then I shall teach transgressors your ways and the ungodly men shall turn to you. 
Deliver me from blood, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would have given it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God shall not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you shall be pleased with sacrifices of righteousness, offering and burnt sacrifices, and they shall offer calves upon your altar. Out of the depths I have cried to you, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? For through you is forgiveness. For your name's sake I have waited for you, O Lord. My soul has waited for your law. My soul has hoped in the Lord from the morning watch till night. From the morning watch let Israel hope in the Lord. For with the Lord is mercy and great is his redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Remember David and all his meekness, how he swore to the Lord and vowed to the God of Jacob, saying, I will not go into the dwelling of my house or go up to the bed of my couch. I will not give sleep to my eyes nor slumber to my eyelids nor rest to my temples until I find a place for the Lord and a dwelling place for the God of Jacob. Behold, we heard of it in Ephrathah, we found it in the fields of the wood. Let us enter into his dwelling and worship at the place where his feet stood. Arise, O Lord, into your rest, you and the ark of your holy place. Your priests shall clothe themselves with righteousness, and your righteous shall exalt for the sake of your servant David. Do not turn away your face from your anointed. The Lord has sworn in truth to David, and he will not turn from it. Of the fruit of your loins I will set upon your throne. If your children keep my covenant and my testimonies which I will teach them, their children also will sit upon your throne forever. For the Lord has selected Zion, he has chosen her a dwelling for himself. This is my resting place forever, here I will dwell for I have desired it. In blessing I shall bless her hunting, her poor I shall satisfy with bread, her priests I shall clothe with salvation, and her saints with rejoicing shall rejoice. There I shall raise a horn to David, I have prepared a lamp for my anointed, his enemies I shall clothe with shame, and my holiness shall flourish upon him. Alleluia. Behold, bless the Lord, O you the servants of the Lord, 
who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God, in the nights. Lift up your hands unto the holies and bless the Lord. The Lord shall bless you out of Zion, he who made heaven and earth. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem, praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. He makes your borders peaceful and fills you with the fatness of wheat. He sends his word to the earth. His word runs swiftly. He gives snow like wool. He scatters the mist like ashes. He casts out his ice like morsels. Who will be able to stand before his frost? He will send out his word and melt them. His wind will blow and the waters shall flow. He declares his word to Jacob, his ordinances and judgments to Israel. He has not done so with every nation, and he has not revealed to them his judgments. Glory be to you, O our God, holy, 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 a chapter from the Holy Gospel, according to our teacher, St. Luke, may his blessings be with us all, amen. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and this man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen Christ the Lord. So he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when his parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all peoples, a light for the revelation to the Gentiles, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to God forever. Amen. Ten Behold, I am about to stand before the just judge, terrified and trembling because of my many sins. For a life spent in pleasures deserves condemnation. But repent, O my soul, so as long as you dwell on earth, for inside the grave dust does not praise, and in death no one remembers, neither in Hades nor does anyone give thanks. Therefore arise from the slumber of laziness and entreat the Savior, repenting and saying, God have mercy on me and save me. If life were everlasting in this world ever existing, you would have an excuse, O my soul. But if your wicked deeds and ugly evils were exposed before the just judge, what answer would you give while you are lying in your bed of sins, negligent in disciplining the flesh? O Christ our God, before your awesome seat of judgment I am terrified, and before your counsel of judgment I submit, and from the light of your divine radiance I tremble. I the wretched and defiled who lies on my bed, negligent in my life, but I take example of the publican beating my chest and saying, O oh God, forgive me and have mercy on me, a sinner. O oh, holy virgin,
virgin overshadow your servant with your instant help, and keep the waves of evil thoughts away from me, and raise up my ailing soul for prayer and vigil, for it has gone into a deep sleep. For you are a capable, compassionate, and helpful mother, the bearer of the fountain of life, my King and my God, Jesus Christ, my hope. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who was born of the Virgin, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who was crucified for us, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, Holy Immortal who rose from the dead and ascended into the heavens, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever and unto the ages of all ages. Amen. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, forgive us our sins. O Lord, forgive us our iniquities. O Lord, forgive us our trespasses. O Lord, visit the sick of your people. Heal them for the sake of your holy name. Our fathers and brethren who have fallen asleep, O Lord, repose their souls. O you who are without sin, Lord, have mercy on us. O you who are without sin, Lord, help us and receive our supplications. For yours is the glory, the dominion, and the triple holiness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless. Amen. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the coming age. and have mercy upon us and forgive us our sins. Amen. Kiriya nai son, kiriya nai son, kiriya nai son. Kiriya nai son, kiriya nai son, kiriya nai son. Kiriya nai son, kiriya nai son, kiriya nai son. Kiriya nai son, kiriya nai son, kiriya nai son. Kiriya nai son, kiriya nai son, kiriya nai son. Kiriya nai son, kiriya nai son, kiriya nai son. Kiriya nai son, kiriya nai son, kiriya nai son. Kiriya nai son, kiriya nai son, kiriya nai son. Kiriya nai son, kiriya nai son, kiriya nai son. Kiriya nai son, kiriya nai son, kiriya nai son. Kiriya nai son, kiriya nai son, kiriya nai son. Kiriya nai son, Holy, 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 Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory and honor. Have mercy on us, O God, the Father, the Almighty. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord God of hosts, be with us, for we have no helper in our hardships and tribulations but you.
transgressions those which we have committed willingly and those which we have committed unwillingly those which we have committed knowingly and those which we have committed unknowingly the hidden and the manifest O Lord forgive us of your holy name which is called upon us let it be according to your mercy O Lord and not according to us